Hi there Sylvain, good to see you for our latest how-to tip. And we're here by Trusty Boiler. Now we've all got these boilers and they're all different, they all come in different shapes and sizes. Um, but sometimes we notice that the boilers aren't working uh, 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 um, well or that it seems cold in the house. And as I understand it, some things that we'll need to do, the one thing we'll need to know how to do is how to top the boiler up. Can you tell us a little bit about topping the boiler up and so on? Sure. So the, the boiler needs to be at a certain pressure to work properly uh, so that the system is running properly, I should say. And the, the first um, way to tell really is there's, a, uh, there's usually a dial. So it could be an analog one or a digital one that will show you the pressure of the system. And uh, different boilers have slightly different pressures that need to be at. Th this will be in the manual. So you should have the, mm -hmm. the manual for your boiler. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so on this one, my first um, instinct was to open this up. Mm -hmm. And I was expecting to see something here which would let me know what the pressure is at. What they have here is a button, uh, a, a light, sorry, that shows a low system pressure. But, so if that comes up, you know there's a problem. They don't all have this, by mm -hmm. the way. But I, what, what I did is I looked online. Uh, first of all, you look at the make and, and the model number. Mm -hmm. And I quickly searched this and came up very um, instantly with a uh, YouTube video that showed me a video on how to um, uh, top this up. And I discovered that on this one, the dial is right under right. there, which is really not obvious. Right. Um, but that's just to say how easy it is to find that information now if you don't have the manual. Got you. And I know that, for example, in mine, and I think we're going to show in a while, mine looks very, very, very different to this, as, as you say, some of them are digital and Absolutely, some of them are yeah. analog. So it sounds as though the key thing is get to know your boiler. If there's a manual, take a look at it, see if you know how to top it up. Good tip also if you can look up the make and if you don't know how to top it up. And presumably <coughs> it can be useful also if you're having it serviced and it's being topped up, ask the Well, ask well exactly, the every year we, we do a gas safety check and a contractor will come to your property to ensure that everything is working properly and that it's safe. And that is, as you said, the best time to just ask them how to do it because they'll show you very quickly. But again, on YouTube, there are hundreds of videos. Now, if you are looking at those videos, mm -hmm. uh, you will have lots of them from uh, you know regular builders or, or you know um, gas safety people mm -hmm. who will do it. But there are also sometimes uh, videos made by the manufacturers themselves. And we should presumably go for those ones first. Well, those would be, be the better. first ones. But if you can't find one, then yeah. Let's see what the other, and also it might be worth checking two of them just to see if they're consistent. Okay, you that know. sounds like a really good tip. And again, yeah. if you're not sure, if you're not comfortable with this, um, get in touch with our maintenance officer and we'll be able to give you some Absolutely. pointers. Absolutely, if it sounds too complicated, I mean, there are lots of pipes down below yeah. that you have to turn on and off, and yeah. sometimes it might be more complicated than, you, than you're comfortable mm -hmm. with. Then, in that case, you get in contact with the maintenance officer and then we'll come and you know, send someone around to check it out. Brilliant, excellent, thank you so much. Thank you.